This 13 Friends for Life segment is sponsored by Mercy Health and the Comprehensive Breast Centers. This morning we're going to talk about surviving cancer. Did you know an individual is considered a cancer survivor from the time of diagnosis through the balance of her life? And breast cancer survivors are on the rise. Ashley Mitchell is Survivorship Program Manager with Mercy Health and the Cancer and Hematology Centers of Western Michigan. She's here to discuss survivorship. But first I want to discuss this job of yours. Yes. What is a survivorship program manager. So my job is to make sure that the survivorship needs of our patients are being addressed. So in the past, the focus of cancer care was really on trying to treat the cancer and prolong life mm -hmm. and work on balancing those side effects. Mm -hmm. But now that individuals are living much longer after their diagnosis, we found that there's a lot of long-term effects that just weren't being adequately addressed. So I'm really working on trying to improve their quality of life. Yeah. Okay. So let's talk a little bit about the change mm -hmm. in survivorship. We mentioned that that it's that people are living longer, yeah. right? They are surviving. Well, yeah, how, absolutely. how much so? So in 1971, there are around 3 million cancer survivors. Today, it's estimated to be 14 million. So Hokey that's a, I know, it's a it's huge big. number. Um, and then it's um, all estimated that by 2024, it'll be in the ballpark of 20 million cancer survivors. To what do we attribute this growth in, in numbers, this yeah, good success exactly. story? Exactly, yeah. So the success, there's a few things that come into play. One, we're just living longer, and mm -hmm. so people are living longer after a diagnosis, or the older we get, the more likely we are to be diagnosed with cancer. But also, we have had huge strides in our treatment modalities. So um, we are providing treatments now, like medications, that are actually targeted to certain characteristics of an individual's cancer, mm. which allows us um, to be more likely to cure that cancer. Um, and some other pieces are just improvement in our technology for detection, so our screening methods, so yes. we can catch cancers earlier earlier we catch them, the more likely we are to cure those cancers. Yeah, that is something that I certainly heard being said about breast cancer especially. Yes, For absolutely. For many, many years they have known, catch it early, your chances mm -hmm. are so much better. Yes, yep, and that's very true. But with all of that, so the tough part is, um, we're finding that people are living longer, but we're having these um, the treatments with multiple modalities. So women are getting a combination of surgery, mm. chemotherapy, radiation therapy, and that leads to a lot of long-term effects that we need to make sure that we're appropriately addressing. Things like what? What do you mean when you say that? Yeah, so women from chemotherapy could have peripheral neuropathy, which is numbness and pain, mm -hmm. um, and that can be debilitating and be lifelong. There there can be long-term fatigue from treatment. There's chemo brain, it is a real thing yeah. where people just can't think clearly. And then our breast cancer patients, they're also typically on, or the majority are on an anti-hormonal therapy. Um, it's a pill that they take for five to 10 years after their other treatment. And those medicines um, are so effective in treating breast cancer. They also can reduce the risk of a second unrelated breast cancer, but they have their own side effects hot flashes, mm. sexual dysfunction, bone thinning, things like that. So we're really working on trying to minimize that so that they can complete that recommended treatment. So it's not only about surviving, it's mm -hmm. then making that survivorship a positive experience. Exactly. All it's the way all about trying to improve quality of life. Yeah. Well, you can learn more about the Mercy Health Comprehensive Breast Centers on our website and all that is happening with survivorship and treatment as well. Go to WZZM13.com. Thanks for being here. Thank you.